Welcome back, everyone. The Houston Humane Society is always on the lookout for good homes for the many animals it cares for. This week, we'll be featuring some of the older pets at the shelter. Joining us this morning to talk a lot more about that, Monica Schmidt from the Humane Society, as well as Andrea Wachowiak, trainer with Rover Oaks Pet Resort. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. And gentlemen, we have two little guys in the house with That's a right. snowball and adorable little Milo here. Let's talk about older dogs. These dogs are so precious. And in a situation like this, I mean, age doesn't even matter. He certainly doesn't look right. like a senior at all. He looks he quite youthful. You'd be shocked to find out he's 10 years old. Mm -hmm. You know, he's very active, very playful. He'd make a really great lap dog for maybe an older family. Um, and then Milo here is actually two years old. Mm -hmm. So he's full grown, very active. He'd be great for an active family. Um, but, you know, sometimes they get looked over because mm -hmm. they're not the cute little young puppies. And because I think of that old saying that says that you cannot teach an old dog new tricks, Andrea says that's just not the case, right? Yes, that's exactly right. It is not the case. You can teach a dog, doesn't matter the age, um, new tricks. So uh -huh. it is absolutely easy to do. Well, Milo gets really fired up when he sees somebody. Let me he see does. if I can get him to do it. Come here, Milo. Come here, buddy. You can see me. <laughs> well, he's not doing it right now, but he does. There we go. There he does <laughs> like to jump up. Exactly. So in a situation like this, can you give us some tips of how to teach our own dogs, or if we were to get Milo, how to teach them to stay on the ground and not jump up? Definitely. Um, one of the things that we want to do is we want to pick a different behavior that we want to reward instead. So mm -hmm. sitting is a really good anti-jump. Um, so it's a great way to get them to give us a different behavior instead of a jump. Um, so you, what you'd want to start doing is reward the sits that do happen mm -hmm. in front of you. You want to reward those a lot. Easy way to do it is use some kibble or use some treats. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing that's really important that a lot of people tend to do, and we do it just because we love dogs, mm -hmm. um, anytime dogs jump up, hi, pretty boy, oh, we pet. Yes, okay? yes. Um, and that's, in a way, reinforcing that behavior. So what we want to do is anytime dogs jump up on us, we want to ignore them until they give us all four on the floor. Mm -hmm. And that's one rule that I would really, really stick to is four on the floor. And can you distract mm -hmm. them when they're jumping up on you and say sit and get them off immediately um, and then You can. Or? The best thing to do is if they jump up, ignore them until all four feet are back on the floor. And then you reward mm -hmm. them at that point exactly. when they are? Exactly. Okay. Um, so when all four feet are on the floor, then you can go, oh, that's a good job, and really get Give them lots mm -hmm. of love and attention, and you can give them a few treats as well. Okay, and then eventually they will stop jumping up if you keep doing exactly, that. Exactly, exactly. How long does a process like that take? We're it talking really, weeks, months. It, depends it really on the depends dog. on the dog, and it depends on how consistent you mm -hmm. are with it. Um, you know, a lot of times we have guests that come mm -hmm. and they'll do the same thing, mm -hmm. and you know that can take um, slow it down a bit. So what you want to do is be really consistent, set the rules, mm -hmm. and stick with them. Good information. And again, th with these dogs, you really Monica just can't tell an age okay. and there's yeah. a great book out there that I've heard about it's called Love Has No Age Limit and I think that that's great for someone to think about if they're considering a dog. Yes, Absolutely. it is. And I think the great thing about it is you miss those puppy years. Oh, <laughs> I mean, all the chewing and you think mm -hmm. waking up in the middle of the night. You know, with an older dog, they're ready, they're settled, they come into your home. You can teach them mm -hmm. kind of acclimate to your household and then you're That's good to good go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Well, ladies, thanks for being here and sure. we just thank love you them. so much. Bye my love. Bye so uh -huh. Look at this face. You got to take him home. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie. And Monica will tell you that Snowball is a stray. They just found him wandered up. So cute.